All right, y'all, we're going to get right into this video, man. Today, we have a reaction to the Voice for the People Reacts, man. Y'all can already tell by the title what we're going to be getting into today. A lot of you guys wanted my reaction to this part of the video, okay, the part about Queen Nyjah. I know a lot of y'all niggas want to know how I feel about that video that they did, all right? So, I want to see exactly what's going on, man. Let's like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. When I upload on my channel, DM me lit videos to react to a tell a friend, a tell a friend, tell an angel mama, tell an uncle Joey, still a ho, let's get right into the video, but let's get it. Supporters were definitely not letting Clarence get away with this comment. I never had Clarence tell me go to the back seat. Never had that. Yeah. All right. So my first, my initial reaction was like, okay, like I, I don't understand why you wouldn't take Queen to the back seat. You know what I'm saying? And his response was, oh, you know, you're not a hoe, so I'm not gonna treat you like a hoe. The hoes go to the back seat. I'm like. What? What does being wifey type have to do with going to the back seat? If anything, wifey type is getting back seat action, front seat action, balcony action, on the street action. You know what I'm saying? Like you're getting all types of action. All right. That has nothing to do with being wifey type. You feel me? Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. But I look, I gave him the side eye too, because I was like, that's kind of strange. I don't know. That's on some spontaneous shit. You know, like you on the way home from somewhere, or maybe you're headed somewhere and you just stop into an alley, or you stop and park in front of somebody's house, or in between businesses. You know, y'all can tell I got a little bit of experience with this. But it doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with wifey type. Oh, you more like don't do that. that I'm not, not that ass though. Like you more like I done told the hoes to get to the back seat. You know? Okay. I just got you. Anyway, no. Oh, thank you. Know I'm, I'm yours. I'm your yeah. little that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, yo, wifey type is going to be a slut. It's going to be a hoe in the sheets for you. No, you was with her. I tell you, from you One day we're going to be on our way home, back home. I'm be like, I'm going to pull over. you like, what you doing? No. Someone said then propose. Well, put a ring on it. We've been waiting since she got pregnant with your child. They still ain't getting married yet. I expected them. I remember this nigga was on Twitch like recently within the past few days or whatever. A few days or maybe a week since he's been back doing his reaction videos. He was on Twitch and he was basically talking about, you know, if I get married or whatever the case may be. So marriage is a possibility, it sounds like, but it doesn't sound like he is completely sold on marriage. Which is cool. I don't know what the fuck they got going on. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that Queen has stated on several occasions that she would like to be married. She was already married. She want to be married again, I'm pretty sure. And Clarence just doesn't come off as the type to actually want to get married. But you never know. They could get married tomorrow or they could, you know, she could get proposed to tomorrow. And we don't know what they have going on in their relationship. But yeah, it's been quite a while. I will say that I have seen a lot of, you know, straight women saying that you know shit four five years is a long time y'all ain't you, you ain't proposed yet and all of this but i can only say this just because he hasn't proposed yet does not mean that he's not gonna propose soon it does not mean that he's um, not planning to propose later you know and i can say that i feel like every woman does have a threshold or a time frame, a time limit on, okay, if this doesn't happen in X amount of time, like I might hold out for a little bit or X amount of time, they might wait 10 years for you, but there's going to be a certain breaking point for a woman where, where they have to put their foot down and walk away because they know that they want more from the relationship, you know? So at that point, you know, it's kind of like an ultimatum or it's kind of like, Hey, I can't do this. I'm wasting time. I want this, we have different goals or whatever the case may be. So I gotta go over here before I get too fucking old, you know? And you know, hey. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Do you guys feel like Clarence should have already proposed? Do you guys think that he should be proposing soon because it's been years in now and like, what the fuck are we waiting for? If you know, then you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know guys, I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel them to be engaged by now then why he ain't marry her yet they should have been engaged or something post up something mentioning marriage she posted up with me where a guy is asking his girl would she marry right. him and there's that. a couple in the background she said don't let me see somebody proposing in front of me and my man because i'm definitely gonna talk, talk about, about it me, lol no. oh wow would you look at that babe <laughs> that was so beautiful dang she's blessed on purpose though queen is definitely ready to say yes and it's nothing wrong with that yeah, she but is. clarence has to do it on his time he does because he already know when he come he gotta come correct so Facts. i would rather him do it with he know he could come correct with it. Y'all leave y'all comments. And then would you rather him do it and not really mean it? 
Let's be honest, we always talk about these fake ass relationships, fake ass couples, pe people getting married for views, people having babies for views and all of this extra shit. So do we really want him to just be pressured? First of all, Clarence is not the type to be pressured into doing shit, all right? We can see that. But I will say, do you guys want him to actually just do the shit for the gram, do the shit for the media, do the shit for y'all's approval? No, I wouldn't do it either, you know? I would do it whenever, whenever I feel like, hey, I am really ready and I feel like this is going to be my forever ting, you know, and if it take me 10, 15 years, 20 years to make that decision and make that move, then that's when I'm going to do it. All right. Ain't nobody going to bully me into doing this and doing that. But I will say that, like I said, man, I feel like every woman has a time limit. They got an expiration date on certain goals that they have for a relationship, you know, as they should, because nigga, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Why would this woman wait, you know, 20 years for still a possibility of being a wife and you know that that is your goal? You know what I'm saying? That is what you want from your partner. But some women, like I said, will settle for X amount of time. But most of the time, guys, there is an expiration date to how long that they, uh, I can't talk. Y'all already know my shit be, blah, 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 blah. um, they have an expiration date on how long they will wait. So let me know, ladies out there, comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about this situation, man. Too long, not long enough. Um, how long should a woman wait? I feel like that is all dependent on these people's relationship, all right? If Queen is okay with it or if she's dealing with it, because I know she's probably getting to the point to where it's like, okay, but if she's still dealing with it and she's still there, what are you going to say? You know, why hate on the shit? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like they're making it work. And like I said, I don't know how long she's going to be okay with that, but that's they shit. It ain't none of my motherfucking business. So I want to know from y'all how y'all feel. Comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. But over the weekend, Queen Aja did perform in Detroit and her family was present. That was dope to see. Get it, girl. I think it's so dupe, dupe, so dupe. I think it's so dope that she was able to fucking open up for the queen, Mary J. Blige. I feel like she's the godmother of, of fucking R&B now. But yeah, man, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below about Clarence and Queen. Like I said, man, we are all outsiders looking in, but it does seem like Queen Nyjah has been hinting at wanting to be proposed to like i said clarence is not the type to be bullied or pressured into doing anything that he's not comfortable with and i feel like everything does happen within divine timing and if it doesn't happen then it wasn't you know it just wasn't meant to be you don't want to force a shoe that does not fit y'all seen what happened with cinderella and the stepsisters they couldn't even get the fucking slipper on but for the right guy or the right woman that slipper will fit Okay, so let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that shit. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the age of mama to tell the uncle Joey still hard. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.